that's something that we also need to understand when we start looking at HRV is that it's different from other parameters, meaning that there are really no absolute values or population ranges that we can rely on because it is very individual. So for some people, it might be higher. For some, it might be lower. And this is not even necessarily linked to um, clear aspects such as you know physical activity level or fitness or things like that that are tightly coupled with other markers like even just resting heart rate. Like We know that endurance athletes, for example, have a lower resting heart rate that is due to training. It does not necessarily mean that their HRV will be higher. So HRV is a bit of a more difficult parameter um, to contextualize in that way. And that is why the only way to actually use this data in an effective way is for a person to keep track, measure daily with software that will then interpret the data only as relative changes with respect to their own data.